Humanoid robots aren't coming. They're already here, and they're gearing up for war. Not a war with weapons, but one fought with innovation, speed, and intelligence. In the middle of an escalating trade battle between China and the United States, a different kind of arms race is exploding. One where the weapon of choice is an AI-powered humanoid that can walk, talk, think, and even fight. Robots are entering homes, preparing for combat sports, and being trained to do everything from folding laundry to navigating unknown environments on their own. And the companies behind them? They're moving fast, building armies of machines designed to change everyday life forever. The most advanced humanoid robots are being introduced at a pace we've never seen before. In the West, a Norwegian-American startup called 1X just stole the spotlight at TED 2025. Their humanoid robot, Neo Gamma, was unveiled during a TED Talk themed Humanity Reimagined. 1X Technologies founder, Bernd Borage, presented the robot with features that blur the line between human and machine. AI-powered speech recognition, smooth human-like movements, and autonomous navigation. This isn't just a machine that moves. It listens, understands, and acts with intent. The company's strategy is aggressive. Headquartered in Sunnyvale, California, but with roots in Norway, 1X plans to start placing Neo Gamma into real homes by 2025. At first, only employees will test the robots, and some of them have already shared clips on social media showing the robots performing household chores. From cleaning to basic assistance, these robots are learning in real time. But 1X isn't stopping there. Their production plans aim to scale in 2026 with a jaw-dropping target, 100,000 humanoid robots manufactured by 2028 and potentially scaling into the millions shortly after. There's a catch though, these robots won't be completely on their own at first. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Borage explained how 1X plans to use call centers staffed by human teleoperators. When a Neo Gamma robot encounters a task it can't handle, a human will step in remotely, guiding it in real time. Over time, the robot will learn from these human demonstrations and eventually become independent. This method, a hybrid of human oversight and machine learning, may become the standard for early humanoid deployments. But 1X isn't the only player pushing boundaries. In California, another startup, Westwood Robotics, has just launched Themis Fiv 2, the latest version of its humanoid robot. Standing about 5 2 inches tall, Themis Fiv 2 comes with 40 degrees of freedom, up from the 36 in its previous version. That means more flexible limbs, smoother movement, and greater control. Its arms and hands are especially advanced, allowing it to grasp and manipulate objects with precision. Under the hood, Themis Fiv 2 is packed with power. A stereo camera mounted on its body improves depth perception, while onboard computing offers up to 200 tera operations per second, giving it the ability to make real-time decisions. Westwood Robotics, founded by researchers from UCLA's Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory in 2018, envisions Themis 5 two performing tasks in logistics, inspection, monitoring, and even as a research and development platform. This isn't a robot for show. It's a worker ready to be deployed in the real world. Meanwhile, China isn't sitting still. In Shanghai, the robotics company Fourier has unveiled the N1, a fully open-source humanoid robot. It's part of a growing class of compact humanoids from Chinese firms like the Unitry G1, the PM1 by Engine AI, the T1 by Booster Robotics, the Linkshi X2 by Abot, and the N2 by Noetics Robotics. These short humanoids, standing around 1.3 meters tall, are quickly becoming stars in robotic circles. The N1 is designed for more than just demonstration. Fourier released footage of the robot playing soccer, hinting at a future in robotics competitions like RoboCup. It's fast too, capable of running 3.5 meters per second, or about 7.8 miles per hour. That means it could finish a 5K race in roughly 23 minutes, faster than the average human jogger, and nearly matching the world's fastest bipedal humanoid robot, the Star One from Beijing's robot era. Another standout feature, its battery. The N1 has a swappable back-mounted battery that powers it for over two hours of continuous use. But what really sets it apart is its place in Fourier's open-source Matrix Project ecosystem. Developers have full access to the N1's hardware schematics, assembly instructions, bill of materials, and base software. And it works with NVIDIA's Groot N1, 
the first open foundation model built specifically for humanoid robots. This AI has been trained on robot movements, human videos, and synthetic data, enabling robots like the N1 to understand and mimic complex human behaviors. But China's robotics push isn't just about utility. It's also about performance. One company, Unitree, is preparing for an event called Iron Fist King Awakening, a humanoid robot boxing match. Their G1 robot, small but incredibly agile, is being trained for combat. It can be controlled using motion capture, remote controls, or even voice commands. The company is rolling out features gradually via over-the-air updates, and they're cautioning users. Operating humanoids isn't easy, especially when the tech is advancing so quickly. If this robot boxing trend takes off, it could lead us to a future eerily similar to what the 2011 film Real Steel predicted, a world where humanoid robots replace human fighters in the ring, with humans acting as remote operators. Unitree's G1 is also developing new abilities, including martial arts and advanced dance routines. This combination of entertainment and tech could create a new industry altogether. But while some companies are focusing on speed, power, or fighting, others are zeroing in on realism. Another Chinese firm, EX Robot, is trying to mass-produce hyper-realistic androids, robots that don't just move like humans, but look and emote like them, too. Their work focuses on the uncanny valley, pushing boundaries in facial expressions, skin textures, and voice replication. These aren't just assistants. They're almost indistinguishable from real people in certain lighting conditions. The bigger picture is clear. This isn't just a competition between companies. It's a geopolitical tech war. China and the US are locked in a race to dominate the future of humanoid robotics. Each country is funding, accelerating, and deploying new models at breakneck speed, hoping to outpace the other not just economically but technologically. And as this race unfolds, we're witnessing something we've only dreamed about. Robots are no longer confined to factories or labs. They're entering homes, learning from us, assisting us, even performing on stage and fighting in arenas. The boundaries between human and machine are starting to dissolve. Behind every development is a strategy. Some startups like 1X are playing the long game, deploying now, learning fast, and scaling big. Others like Westwood are focused on perfecting motion and control. And Chinese firms are combining speed with scale, creating open ecosystems that invite collaboration and rapid iteration. Whether it's Neo Gamma folding laundry, Themis V2 managing inventory in a warehouse, N1 running in a robot soccer match, or G1 preparing for its first bout in the robot ring, these machines are more than novelties. They are the foundation of a future that's rapidly becoming our present. And the implications stretch far beyond cool tech demos. These humanoid robots could reshape labor markets, caregiving, education, entertainment, and even how we socialize. They're learning from us, they're improving every month, and they're already being sold, tested, and upgraded in real homes and businesses. If you want to stay ahead of where this future is heading, if you want to keep up with the revolution happening right now in robotics, make sure you subscribe to this channel. The robot age isn't coming. It's already here.